This is in UFC 200. You're fighting Johnny Hendricks, a guy you have a bit of a history with. Tell me a little bit about what happened in those training sessions. That yeah. You talked about. Well, the cat's out of the bag. Uh, you know, obviously he, he he said he got the better of me, which is true, uh, but not by much. Uh, I was very competitive and, and did really well in the sparring sessions, but he did, at the end of the day, get the better of it, you know? Um, but at the same time, he was fighting for a second world title shot, um, and I was one fight removed from the ultimate fighter, you know? And, and I felt like, at that time, I was like thinking in my head, maybe in a year or two I can compete at this level with these guys, you know, for sure. So this is good experience. And so. Two years later, we are here, I'm fighting that same guy, and, and I feel like I'm going to be able to beat him. I feel like I'm at this level now where I can compete with the elite welterweights and, and beat them. So what, is, what are some of the strides that you made in your game to, to elevate yourself to that level, to be ready for this next step in competition? Yeah, well, well, just learning every day, man. I'm still, I'm still young in this sport. I, feel, I still feel like an amateur, man. I still feel like I'm learning every day. I still feel like, like I, I, I need a lot of improvements. And uh, it's just little little improvements that I've made, little details that I've improved on, you know. But the little details in the highest levels make the biggest difference in the world. So it's just little things. Now we know weight issues has been a thing for you in the past. You have the new weight weigh-in procedures going on this this time around, weighing in eight o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. How much are you looking forward to that? Man, I'm looking forward to it. I like the new format um, because they give us more time to recuperate, more time to rehydrate, and more time to eat. So it, it's it's a good thing for us. Now, talk to me about the whole experience of being here at UFC 200 and fighting on International Fight Week. Man, this is this has been a dream come true because I've never fought on International Fight Week, and I've been here the last three years, you know, just just as a spectator. And now I'm the guy fighting it. And every time I'm here, I'm like, man, when am I gonna get my shot in these big cards? And finally, I'm on I'm on the biggest card in the UFC history. Not only UFC history, but martial arts history. This is the biggest card ever put together. Um, so it's 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 awesome, man. It's a special feeling, and I'm pretty privileged and, and I feel honored man. I'm, I'm so excited to be a part of it. Very cool. Now where do you think a win over Johnny Hendricks is going to put you? That welterweight division is kind of stacking up at the very top right now. So where do you yeah. think it's going to put you? Yeah, it's going to put me right there in the conversations for sure. You know, I expect to, to, to get my hand raised and, and it'll put me right there in the conversations to fight for a title. Maybe one, one fight after that and, and then um, fight for that gold strap. So you say you're going to get your hand raised. How's it going to happen? Give me a prediction. You know what? I've been working a lot on my Muay Thai. I've been working a lot on my uh, wrestling. So I think uh, uh, our wrestling will cancel each other. Who knows? Um, you know, I'm I'm pretty confident in my wrestling that I can take him down as well. But I feel like it's going to be more of a stand-up match for sure. Very cool. Best of luck. Come Saturday. Thank you very much. Thanks.